Hello everyone, today I will compare the performance of the ROG Ally driver and the Legion Go stock driver to see which one provides more stable performance. As you can see here, the Legion Go stock driver is based on an AMD driver from 5 months ago, while the ROG Ally driver is based on an AMD driver from last month. Therefore, the ROG Ally driver supports AFMF2, whereas the Legion Go driver only supports AFMF1. For the Legion settings, I set both drivers to performance mode, TDP to 25 watts, OS power to efficiency, and VRAM to auto. Based on the benchmark results, the ROG Ally driver appears to provide slightly better performance in terms of minimum FPS, average FPS, and maximum FPS. However, the difference is very small. So, at 800p resolution, both drivers deliver similar performance. Based on the benchmark results at 1200p, both drivers also deliver similar performance.
The same as 800p resolution, based on the benchmark results, the ROG Ally driver appears to provide slightly better performance in terms of minimum FPS, average FPS, and maximum FPS. However, the difference is too small, so at 1600p resolution, both drivers deliver similar performance. For Legion Go stock driver, since it doesn't have support for AFMF2, you can use lossless scaling instead. For lossless scaling, I set the scaling type to Snapdragon Super Resolution with sharpness at 8. Frame generation is set to LSFG 2.3 at X2. Resolution scale at 70%. Performance mode is enabled. I turned off Sync's mode and allowed tearing for better latency. The maximum frame latency is set to 3. The advantage of using the Legion stock driver is that Windows won't override the driver, which is a common issue for people using Windows 11 Home. Additionally, the built-in monitor works seamlessly with native gameplay. However, the downside is that it doesn't support AFMF two-frame generation. While you can use lossless scaling as an alternative, it comes with its own drawbacks, such as input lag and screen distortion. When lossless scaling is active, you may notice the delay, especially during heavy character movements. The screen distortion is particularly noticeable at the bottom of the screen and can sometimes be distracting. The ROG Ally driver has both advantages and disadvantages. On the positive side, it runs very stably, and AFMF 2 frame generation feels smooth and fluid, with noticeably less stuttering compared to other drivers. It is one of the best drivers I have tested during my one year with the Legion Go. However, there are some downsides. Windows 11 Home may override the driver, and the built-in FPS counter doesn't work unless AFMF 2 is activated, as shown in the video. In conclusion, both the Legion Go and ROG Ally drivers have their pros and cons. If you prefer a quick and easy installation without worrying about Windows 11 overriding the driver, it's better to stick with the stock driver. However, if you want to get the best performance out of the Legion Go, the ROG Ally driver is the better option. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.